<laughs> right, so, so there for you. Great performance. Thank you very much. Great music. Mm -hmm. Kind of like it. Yep, yep, yep. Very nice. Good. So, finally, Okwayami Famaki has joined us. He's probably known as the food and wine critic. Uh, he's also a food consultant and also a writer uh, at uh, Food Critic. Okwayami, you are welcome on the show here today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, okay, so I have this question for you. What Nigerian federal university did you go to? The best. Which one? <laughs> Tell me the name. Unilag. Uh -huh. Why? Oh, why? Why? Ten is for God. No, that's Nine. a like, Yeah, that is a lecturer. Thing. No, it's a it's Nigerian, Nigerian lecturer thing. line. Oh, what? Believe me, I've heard it a number of times. What are you guys going on about? You can't understand. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, it's good to see you again, man. It's been a while since the last time that I saw you. Seven five, years. Seven years ago. Wow. But I do follow you on Instagram. I follow you too. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I see all your food and stuff and everything that you're doing. And all. And I'm impressed, man. Mm -hmm. I, Thanks. I'm like, wow. You, I, I, I think I remember you from when you were like, it was 277 followers to how many followers? 200. Now? Yeah, just no, 200. No, 2,000. I was on 200. <laughs> I, there is a beginning for everything uh, becoming down. Uh, 2,000. <laughs> But in any case, it's fantastic what you're doing. Um, I, I can't count many food critics in Nigeria, True. but if I was ever asked, do you know a food critic, it would be you. How did you decide that I'm going to go into critiquing people's foods? Um, it wasn't really a decision. It just was a thing I was doing. I've been doing it since, and since, like a monopoly, I was just doing it, and my you know, trust grew, and my followers just kept on growing, growing, growing. And I became more serious with it, but there was no plan of being a critic. I, I was just doing it. So. so was it just something that you, probably you went to eat one day and then yeah. no. had a great or terrible experience and then decided to record it? So I grew up in a family that every holiday we would go abroad for food. Mm -hmm. So I've mm. grown up doing this. So I just, oh, wow. I, I've just been doing it. So when Instagram came, my first post on IG where, you know, food review posts. Nice. It's just a thing I've been doing. And so is it safe to say you like food? Love. Like yeah. Yeah. It's not safe to say he likes it. Love. He loves it. No, not actually just the eating. So eating is experience. 20%. <laughs> the experience, learning about it, and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. So how many restaurants would you see? You? Yeah. <laughs> I have more questions, but let me go first. How many restaurants would you say? Off the top of your head. This just... year or... The, this month. No, this month I've been... A lot. I've been to Enugu, I've been to Ibadan. Well, you travel based on this? Yeah, of yeah. Of course, definitely. Wow. In Nigeria, not Lagos. I have to be like, wow. go everywhere in Nigeria. So yeah, I've been to Borneo for food too. You've nice. been to Borneo for food, nice. So yeah, off the top of your head, let's say this year. This year? How many? Um, I'm up in more than 100. More than 100. Wow. I've what received... Over the last seven mm. years? I can't count. You can't count. So, Amazing. So do you, do, you, do you pay for these trips? Um, for the trips, yeah, all of them. You mm. out of your own, out of pocket. Yeah. Okay, even what now with the large numbers? Yeah. Oh, mm. great. But so do you make money out of this uh, endeavor? Mm, from being a food critic, no. From being a food consultant, yes. Ah. Okay, so now tell me, what is the art of food consultancy? So um, many restaurants, um, so owning a restaurant is more than just making good food. There are, there's the digital presence, there's management, and, you know, all the other back-end and front-end stuff. So I hope that... Okay. Just, you know, being a good cook, because, you know, everyone says, oh, you're a good cook, open a restaurant. That is like 10% of managing a restaurant. So okay. those other parts, I help them with it. And mm. all so far, every, you know, every, every story has been good. Amazing. So do you cook? Very well. Ah. Oh, he does. Very, very well. That would be nice. What's been your best, and I mean best, food experience in Lagos, Nigeria, and then perhaps maybe the world? All three of them, Lagos, first of all, what has been your best food experience in each of those? To be an advert, because no, it's like no, your no, no, no. maybe place time experience itself. Or one where type of one where I had so and so, for instance. So in Lagos, there was this um, this popular hotel that did a pop up, a fine dining pop up. That's the only, by the way, the only fine dining experience ever in Nigeria. All other people that say they are fine dining, they are upscale casual dining. Okay. So like it was was really really nice, like a ten course meal. And violin wow. playing, mm. you know, nice decor, was a rooftop. Wow. That was there. Yeah. Food really impresses me anymore, sadly. I know, I can understand. I've eaten a lot. You've eaten a lot. Yeah. So, a so lot. that really impressed well, me. Who's this guy on the screen here? That's an imposter. Yeah. Uh, is it really imposter? Because you've gone from that. That's <laughs> I mean, um, no. <laughs> has this affected you in any way? You consuming good food every single day of your life? Not, you say? Not, not every day. Or am I stating the obvious? Not every day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, you, you look as skinny as me in some of these pictures, and right now you're a big guy. You, 
You can play football, what American you, football. I'm working on it, by the way. You know, I'm trying to eat healthy now and oh, okay. all that good stuff. Yeah, okay. but it comes with the job. Okay, now, of course, with all this touring, right, I'm sure there's been bad experiences. A lot. A lot, I'm sure. So have you ever had an experience that literally sent you, like, broke you down? Um, physically, yes, no, physically. but mentally, mm. yeah. Mentally, okay, yeah, please give us the experience. Here. Mentally. I was in the East recently. Okay. I was in Enugu last okay. week, and the Igbos are very, very sensitive when you talk about, you know, when I realized that, you know, your bad person talking about their food, they didn't really... It didn't really sit well with them, and I was hurt because I'm like, you are, I come in peace. I'm yeah. promoting your dishes to yeah. everyone, and you know, the backlash was really, really like, it was like painful. How did it come in form of? Did it, was it physical or just? Uh, no, just like online, like online. trolling. Right, and, yeah, really. okay. Like, who are you talking about our food? I'm like, yo, I'm a food critic. Like, I've been to Borno, I spoke about their food. Like, every state I go to, I like to highlight their local yeah. unknown yes, dishes. Yes, so, yes. when I was in the north, they were really, really receptive. When I was in the south, south, I was in Bayosa. But I got worry. But mm. in the East, when I was there physically, they were really, really nice to me. Mm. But when I was here, talking about my experience, the Online backlash was really was, was so, painful. Yeah. So the, the the experience we were talking about. So probably mm. they expected something to be nice. So no, that's no, no. another thing I come to, come to because a lot of people that form critic, mm -hmm. most times they go to do reviews and it's all pleasant stuff. So do you actually go in and say, okay, no, I don't like this. This, this was horrible. This was like so things like that. It's not. A, I don't like it. It is. Is it cooked well? So if mm. I don't like maybe a spicy dish. If the dish is properly cooked, it is a good dish. So, mm -hmm. so that's the thing. It wasn't a bad review. It's just the fact that a Yoruba person was talking about their dishes, and I was like, "But I wasn't saying anything bad about your food." So that was really, really painful. Well, let's go physical. Have you ever been somewhere reviewing a, a meal, and then somebody says, "Excuse me, can't you go? Can't go?" I said, "No." I'm okay, six. No, 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 no. I'm six to this. I know, right? That's the build. So I dared them to, but. I'm, I've had threats, a couple of threats. Mm. Yeah, and I went to the restaurant and sat down and I ordered. And I'm like, yo, pull up. Mm. Mm. And you actually paid for the food? Yeah, yeah, I paid for I, my dishes. Well, most of them, sometimes they, oh, don't worry, it's on the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, no, I've, I've, I've been in instances where I whipped out my camera and then I, I was told, no, you can't do that. Do you get that experience as well? Um, mostly in local places, but in fine dining restaurants and casual dining restaurants, you understand that it's free promo for them. If you go to a restaurant and you post pictures, that's free promo, so they understand. But in some local places, like where are you recording us? And I understand because like it's their privacy. So a lot of times, but mostly in local have a places. a team with you when you do these? E, um, in Lagos, yes. Outside Lagos, I have a fellow food critic. She's from Mori, Mitya. Oh, okay. We travel together, so both of us help each other. But when it's a phone camera, they're not really worried. But when it's a camera, camera, that is when then it gets get agitated angry. a bit. Oh. Yes, okay. I mean, that makes a whole lot of sense. It makes a whole lot of sense. What, what are your best dishes? Yeah, now, now we're getting I into it. <laughs> <laughs> what are your best dishes to eat? Um, I was actually going to ask you, mm -hmm. considering the fact that you actually went north, south, east and west, right? Everywhere. Which, like, w w your palettes, where, where does your palettes play favorites? Ah, south, south. South, south. South, south. Bayosa, Potakot, Wari. I think they have the best <laughs> Dishes in Nigeria. Okay. They have a lot of on based dishes. on the variety and quality. Mm, mm, variety and quality. Question, which my 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 best dish mm -hmm. would be? It would be actually I don't know if you know this dish called nsala. 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 Yeah, mm. that lately is my best dish. My wife cooks it. Very well. Fantastically well. Maybe you should come over. She invite you and come and critique. You don't do families. Just, you don't <laughs> do family, yeah? I would eat, but no reviews. Now, I don't have a favorite dish, to be honest. My palate goes here and there a lot of time. But I like a lot of local food. I like, like a lot of swallow, okay. obono soup. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, like Not so traditional deep, stuff. Yeah. No, actually, I actually rather go with swallow almost every day. So we have a chef in house. Please don't critique him. Please critique <laughs> yeah. him. That's why you are here. <laughs> and he's been working really hard to put that together. Yeah. So hopefully he gets up. But before that, you're sticking around for our game. So playing the doodle challenge. The what? Doodle challenge. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're going to doodle on your back. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Don't worry. Just hang in there. Do stay tuned. We've got more coming your way. The yeah. game's in there. He's going to critique our chef. Do stay tuned. It's been a good one with you, Akbe. We'll be right back.